Welcome to Maryland's Coast Adventures. I'm Dawn Eamon and I'm your host here today. We're going to check out Spring Fest first, all the vendors and the goodies inside. Then we're going to check out a bike festival and I'm going to go actually on a ride and it's going to take us through all of Worcester County. Welcome to Maryland's Coast Adventures, brought to you by Worcester County, Maryland's coast naturally cool, and by Ocean City, Maryland, somewhere to smile about. Well, I'm here with Salty Selt, and we are at the Maryland Coast Bike Festival. Salty, tell us a little bit about this event. It's a great day. First of all, thanks for having us. We got great weather. We're in our third year at the bike festival. We're right here at the famous West Ocean City Commercial Harbor. We have just under a thousand riders. There's three routes. And this is a ride, not a race, but the, the three routes go all through uh, Worcester County. So they'll be down in Pocomoke and Snow Hill and Berlin. And, and what a good and day. And Assateague. Island. Yeah, we'll actually go over the bridge to Assateague, see the ponies. Yeah. Does this benefit a charity or is it involved with the charity at all? It, it is. It benefits the Ullman Foundation. And this is uh, young adults, uh, you know, battling cancer. And, uh, okay, yeah. that's fantastic. I yeah. see there's other vendors out here as well. So come down, check this out. Uh, we're at the Maryland Coast Bike Festival. And Salty, do you have a date for 2024 yet? Absolutely not. I don't even know when I'm waking up tomorrow. So <laughs> We'll be on the lookout at MarylandCoastBikeFestival.com and you can see when the 2024 event will be. Yep. Thanks, Salty. You bet. Good luck on your ride. Thank you. <laughs> at the start of the third annual Maryland Coast Bike Festival, make a hard left out of the start and follow the signs. I'm stoked to get started here. Uh, I gave everybody a head start, so now I'm going to have a little work to catch up to everybody else on the bike. Roads were cleared. There were plenty of state troopers out to make sure we got across the red lights, the stop signs without traffic interfering with our ride. Right now, no one's in my I say, Oh, here we are. I'm passing everybody. Easy. I think I got the green light, so that's how I caught up. When you ride down 611, there is a nice shoulder area, but there were a lot of people, as Salty said, almost a thousand riders. So we're gonna take up a little bit of the road. And when you pass in biking, you wanna make sure you pass on the left and you let all the riders are aware of that. So you just say something like, I'm passing on the left and the cyclist will scoot over to the right-hand side of the road. Headed down Cinepuxin Road, beautiful, beautiful, shady, area to ride in, not a lot of traffic. I actually ride in this area often when I'm not doing a bike festival as I enjoy cycling all the time. So we're headed down 611, we pass these trees on the left-hand side. There's a street or a driveway that has beautiful trees lined all the way down the driveway. Next up, I believe we're making a right to head to a beautiful community, South Point. And before we get there, we're gonna pass Rum Point Golf Course We'll pass Ocean City Golf Course. Then we're going to come to the community of South Point. So we're at South Point here. As I said, it's beautiful community. Now the road's wide open, no traffic smooth paved roads and just taking it all in. I was mesmerized by just looking at the houses and kind of not paying attention to how far I'd gone at this point of the ride. So when you cycle, sometimes you try to latch on. It's called drafting. And when you are drafting, you're close behind the back tire. You receive amazing benefits and have to put much less energy into yourself and into the ride. I was lucky enough to draft two people. My mileage went from 17 to about 19 miles an hour, sometimes 20. And after we come out of South Point, we're going to head up towards the Verrazana Bridge and head to Assateague.
Book your next trip in beautiful Maryland's coast. Stroll the downtown streets and enjoy shopping locally in Pocomoke City, Snow Hill, and Berlin. Dine at farm-to-table restaurants or enjoy the nightlife throughout Ocean City. Looking for outdoor adventure? Reserve your tea time at one of the 17 championship golf courses. Take a ride through Aztec Island National Seashore to view the wild ponies or camp in the Pocomoke River State Forest. Visit the serene landscape and be immersed in nature throughout Worcester County, Maryland. Start planning your trip today. Secrets Jamaica USA, where it feels like the tropics all year long. Enjoy delicious happy hour drink specials from 4 to 7 and nightly food specials Thursday and Sunday. Then get ready for the perfect night out. Home to the Morley Hall Nightclub, Secrets is your entertainment hotspot with live music every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Secrets, 49th Street and the Bay, Jamaica USA. Find us and get lost. Welcome back. As you can see, I've jumped on a draft train and I'm ideally trying to hold on to these people until I get up to the top of the bridge so I can save myself a lot of energy. Most of the riding here in Worcester County is flat, but sometimes, you know, going over a few hills, if you're behind somebody who's powering through and protects the wind for you, it's very beneficial. I'm a little winded coming up the Verrazano Bridge here at Assateague, but you can tell it is a glassy day. It couldn't be more ideal conditions for this bike ride. So far, it's been a nice flat road, beautiful view at South Point, Ocean City Golf Club. We're headed to Assateague now, and from this bridge, we can see, it's such a clear day, we can see the Ferris wheel, all of Ocean City. So I get to go downhill now to turn around and come back uphill and then head out to Berlin. Berlin. So catch me later. Hit the top of the bridge, now I'm headed down to the other side, into Assateague State side, and I'm hoping to see some ponies. I did hear some other riders talking about it when we were in South Point. That's when they thought they were gonna see the ponies, and I said, hold on, we're almost there. So fingers crossed, the scenery is beautiful as it normally is every day in Assateague. As I make my way on this barrier island, you can't help but be struck by all its beauty. Assateague Island is a 37-mile long barrier island located off the eastern coast of the Delmarva Peninsula facing the Atlantic Ocean. The northern two-thirds of the island is in Maryland, while the southern third is in Virginia. The Maryland section contains the majority of Assateague Island National Seashore and Assateague State Park. The Virginia section contains Chincoteague National Wildlife Refuge and is a one-mile stretch of land containing the lifeguarded recreational beach and facilities managed by the National Park Service. It is best known for its herds of feral horses, pristine beaches, and the Assateague Lighthouse. The island also contains numerous marshes, bays, and coves. The bridge access for cars is possible from both Maryland and Virginia, though no road runs the full north-south length of the island. We will be taking a closer look at Assateague Island in some of our future shows, but now it's time to head back up the bridge and head to Berlin, Maryland.
we made the turn and we're making our way back up to the bridge. I haven't gotten on the draft train on this side, so I'm definitely going to have to put a lot more work in to get up and over the bridge. But the benefit is, after that, this ride's pretty much downhill and a flat road. Toyota pioneered the more efficient way to drive. And now, we're taking things even further. Efficiency for every lifestyle, performance for any terrain, giving you the freedom to go the distance and the power to find your way home. The future of dependability is here with Toyota's full line of electrified vehicles. More power, less gas. Reserve yours today. Toyota, let's go places. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at Oceocean.com. Let's sit down to my favorite bar. The rockin' full 21 gives so far. The Green Turtle gonna have some... Welcome to the original Green Turtle in Ocean City. A neighborhood favorite with a mouth-watering menu, the best bar in town, a huge game room, plus the apparel and gift shop. There's nothing like the original. The original Green Turtle in Ocean City. Let's sit down to the turtle again tonight. Welcome back to Maryland's Coast Adventures. We're getting close to the town of Berlin and it's a super, super cool little town. Films have been made here, so I'm super excited for this ride to take a venture through the town. As I make my way to the town of Berlin, Maryland, it's like going back in time. It's hard to believe we're only nine miles from downtown Ocean City. If you have a chance to take a stroll down Main Street in Berlin, the path you walk is the same that's taken by the Assateague and Pocomoke Indians well before the colonial period. Berlin, Maryland now is one of the coolest small towns you will ever visit. If the town looks familiar to you, it may be because Berlin's Main Street and some of the outlying areas were altered to become the fictitious town of Hale, Maryland in the 1999 film Runaway Bride starring Richard Gere and Julia Roberts. You can always enjoy a great day of shopping, relax with a cocktail, and a bite to eat at one of the great restaurants in this small town. If you're looking for a place to stay, the historic Atlantic Hotel is a great option. Well, after taking in the town of Berlin, it's time to head back to the West Ocean City Harbor and finish my ride. I'm finished my ride, 34 plus miles, and I'm still smiling. What a great day, a great adventure, and I'm gonna talk to Melanie from Worcester County next. Well, as you saw, I just finished the ride. It was a gorgeous day, flat, no wind at all. <laughs> and we want to thank the town of Ocean City in Worcester County for sponsoring this event. I'm here with Melanie Purcell, and she's going to talk to us about Worcester County a little bit more. So, of course, Worcester County, Maryland's coast. We have beautiful, beautiful scenery. Um, I think that you saw, Dawn, how amazing it is um, between our towns of uh, Berlin, Snow Hill, Pocomoke City, of course, Ocean City. It's an amazing amazing, beautiful place here in Worcester County, and we just hope that you enjoy it and come back 
Yeah. Well, a lot of our guests that come here, they've, they've come here from all over. They've got a chance to like cycle around, but now come back and enjoy our small towns, enjoy all the assets that we have. Aztec Island, yes. Pocomo, uh, the, the park. I mean, amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. So thank you, Dawn, for coming and for showcasing all that we have here in Worcester County. You're welcome. And also today, Berlin is hosting the Jazz Fest, which we didn't get to go through on the bike but we'll have to check that out another time. So stay tuned and we'll see you soon here on Maryland's Coast Adventures. Whatever the season, you'll surely have the time of your life in Ocean City. Golfers will find 17 area championship golf courses, including Ocean City's own Eagles Landing. Ocean City Golf Club features a totally redesigned and rebuilt Newport Bay course. Rum Point overlooks Assateague Island National Seashore and the Cinepuxet Bay. Lighthouse Sound offers a great variety in terms of both its great visual excitement and strategy. The newest addition to the Ruark Golf family is the Glen Riddle Golf Club. Baywood Greens offers golfers the most scenic and spectacular golf on the Delmarva Peninsula. Delaware's premier golf course is the Bayside Resort Golf Club. Bear Trap Dunes Golf Club offers one of the area's most unique and memorable golf experiences on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the Delmarva Peninsula's only championship golf course designed by the legendary Robert Trent Jones Sr. Ocean City, Maryland, great golf is just the beginning. Maryland's coast is truly unique and you're invited to stay here and explore everything there is to see and do. Get ready to go on an adventure to view the wild ponies of Assateague Island National Seashore. Be immersed by beauty at the various art galleries, Book your tea time at one of the 17 championship golf courses or visit the downtown areas to indulge in delicious food and shopping local. Book your next trip today at visitmarylandscoast.org. Hi, I'm here with Chris from Brave Bands. And Chris, how did you hear about Ocean City Spring Fest? Well, uh, about three years ago, right after the pandemic, I heard about it from my vendor colleagues, my friends, and they told me what an amazing event it was, and I said I had to try it. So I've been, this is my third year at Spring Fest, and it'll be my third at Sun Fest as well. Okay. It's been great. And what do you sell here? I sell, I sell a variety of hair accessories, mostly no slip headbands, and uh, they've been doing very well here. They're designed to be worn over the hairline, just like I have it on. That's how they're no slip, so it makes contact with your skin. And uh, so I work out a lot. Would yeah. that be good for yeah. me? Yeah, it's a performance fabric. It'd be perfect. It's either, I call it lifestyle and fitness, so you can wear it for both. Um, you know, every day walking around, just bad hair day, or for fitness. <laughs> So, yeah, definitely. Okay, absolutely. and it would work nice for yoga, too, because it pulls the hair oh, back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. It's a performance fabric, and uh, like I said, designed to be worn over the hairline, but perfect for yeah, moisture wicking, absorbing sweat. You can bring them out when you're done. Yeah. Great. All right, I'm going to try some more. Yeah, absolutely. Please. Let's pull it like this. This is one of the most popular styles. Okay. Uh, designs, actually. And the thing about my product is... I don't use regular fabric that you would buy in a fabric store. I, I import my fabric. It's a special proprietary blend of polyester and spandex. I, so I put the designs on the white fabric, so you won't find my designs anywhere else. And I feel that it doesn't squish my head. Right. Sometimes when you get headbands, they squish, feel it's like they're squeezing like, your brain. It's but this almost one like doesn't. the same fabric they use in a legging, okay. so it conforms your head without giving you a headache. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Feels great. Yeah, Gonna run in it and everything. It looks great with your hair color and everything. Thank yeah, yeah. you. That's one of the most popular ones. I'm with Josh from Cutco, and Josh, tell us a little bit about how you landed Ocean City Spring Fest and about what you sell here. Oh yeah, so Spring Fest is awesome. You know, we've been doing Spring Fest for probably 20 years at this point. Wow. It's one of our favorite events. You get such a cool collection of vendors here, and we're so proud to be one of the sponsors here of this. Um, Cutco's actually been around since the 40s. Used to be sold like door to door. Now we do a lot of stuff through like events like this. It's all American made. Ooh. It's guaranteed forever, like snap on tools. So if it ever breaks or goes dull, we fix or replace it for free. Okay. And they have a knife edge that'll stay sharp for seven to nine 
years on average before you need to have them sharpened. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. All right, so I think you're going to show us how sharp these knives really are. Oh, yeah, you'll, we'll get you to cut something. Then. Okay, here we go. Let's check this out. Awesome. This is a decent brand name that you'd buy at like a Williams Sonoma, Sir Le Tab. Costs about $200 or something like this. What I want you to do, I want you to take this $200 German knife. Okay. And I want you to use full strokes of the blade, and I want you to cut through this piece of leather with that. Uh, okay. German. I don't want to cut your fingers. Oh, I got. Sorry, I'm a pro. I got this. There you go. All the way through. Use those gym muscles. Yeah. Okay. Not bad, right? Right. Now this brand new Cutco knife. Just took it out of the packaging. You're gonna want to get close up on this one. Now hold it out like you're gonna cut something, but don't move. Okay. Do me a favor. Just pull back. Shoot. Ooh, that's kind of scary sharp. A little sharper, <laughs> right? But remember, a sharp knife's a safe knife. You ever be in one of those situations where you need to open a bottle of wine and you just can't find your corkscrew? Right, right. Next time, don't panic. All you gotta do is grab a penny and your shears. And what you do is you make nice little cuts all around the outside. Don't tell Uncle Sam I'm doing this. Pretty good. <laughs> and you can actually make your very own homemade corkscrew. Wow, that's really cool. Keep Thank that. you that's very much. That's your little of your day with the Cutco guy. Thanks, Josh. Uh, it is Friday, so maybe happy hour. I'll use this for my bottle of wine. Here we go. Thirsty Thursday. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>
just got a Dolce de Leche, and now I'm gonna test it out as I listen to the band. Well, that's a wrap on another episode of Maryland Coast Adventures. I definitely got my workout in on the bike festival, and we got to see a lot of parts of Worcester County. Thanks for joining us. We always love coming to Spring Fest with the delicious food, the drinks, the great vendors, and of course, the phenomenal entertainment. Until next time, I'm Dawn Eamon, your host. Thanks for watching Maryland's Coast Adventures, brought to you by Worcester County, Maryland's coast naturally cool, and by Ocean City, Maryland, somewhere to smile about.